All right, so now that we have the scan of my power steering pump, I usually, what I do after I scan is I bring them into Autodesk Mesh Mixer to reduce the triangle count, just because the triangle counts are usually uh, pretty ridiculous, like you can't see down here in the corner. Uh, I can't move that. Oh yeah, I can. So down here in the corners, 1.2 million triangles in this, uh, oops, in this um, scan. That's a lot. So uh, anyway, we're going to um, reduce that with Mesh Mixer. So first we go to Select and just grab a little bit, and then you can go to Modify and then Select All. And then we can actually, we can go to view and show wireframe. And I can zoom in here and you can see like how fine the triangles are. Like it's pretty high resolution. This, uh, I'm using the Creaform, <clears throat> Creaform HandyScan 700, which is, they claim is good down to below 2000s, but I've never seen it go like usable data that low, but like it'll get, it'll get, three to five thousands pretty easily so uh, anyway edit and then we want to go to reduce and then we can reduce the triangle count for the skin and then that way it's, it still retains all the shapes and all the, all the contours and everything it just in the bigger flatter areas it'll reduce the amount of triangles just to reduce the file size so it's easier to navigate an inventor with this stuff so i usually go to 75 percent and uh you can see already the mesh is at 50 percent it took a lot of the triangles out of it and it's easier to work with it in inventor um, when like when you open a part inside of an assembly file then it makes meshes transparent and you can see through them and so if you have fewer triangles then there's fewer lines you have to look through to see things so anyway that's uh <clears throat> that looks like that's pretty acceptable if you look at that so we're going to accept that and really i didn't even i mean all i needed is just kind of the top the bottom and the mounting holes i didn't really need to um I get uh, like all, all of this detail but I like getting the whole thing just for giggles so uh, I hit the export button and so I'm just gonna name it PS pump and then um, <clears throat> I named these MR for mesh 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 mixer reduction so I know that that's the reduced file we'll go ahead and save that so you can see down here in the well you can't see down here in the lower right but uh, it's went from 1.2 million triangles down to uh, 301,000 so that's quite the savings and so if I go to here you can see uh, the original was 148 meg and this new reduced one is 26 so that's uh, a lot uh, smaller file to deal with so anyway that's how I reduce my triangles in mesh mixer all right, so check it out. I've got my inner fender and my power steering pump into uh, imported into Inventor here. And so uh, this is part one of the series. So part two, I'm going to start building a bracket system to hold this uh, to the frame rail uh, and to the inner, inner fender here um, so that I can uh, get that mounted up. And then uh, after that, we'll, I've got a... Um, remote reservoir off of like an astro van or something that I'm going to use on the inside in the actual engine compartment that will go through the inner fender and down into the top of this uh, power steering pump. So stay tuned for part two and uh, thanks for watching.